One of the things that you guys told me that you love the most about my home is, is that it feels very relaxing and very soothing, which is kind of funny because I didn't necessarily intend for it to be that way when I was decorating it. But then when I thought about creating this video, I realized there was a lot of little things that I could pull out as tips so that you can create a more calming and relaxed home too. I'm Sarah Ashley and welcome back to the world of Salt House. So I'm gonna share 12 tips to make your home more relaxing. And the first one on that list is to declutter. So if you guys have heard of Marie Kondo, then maybe you already know about her philosophy, which is to essentially get rid of everything that does not spark joy. And I've done this all throughout my home and it's been such an amazing experience. I also just like to keep things pretty neat, but keeping them tidy and in their place really helps me to feel more relaxed. Okay, the next thing is natural light. Lighting definitely makes such a big impact on a space, but I know obviously sometimes you can't necessarily help the lighting that you're already working with. Uh, so if you don't have a lot of natural light in your space, do you think that it's important to get lamps? Especially when you're in a rental apartment like we are, it comes with a lot of overhead lighting, but it can really kind of feel harsh and abrasive. Table lamps or floor lamps and placing them throughout your home, it really does make a difference. This is something that I had to fight with Jared about when we moved in because I was like, we need lamps and he was like, but we have lights that work. And I was like, no, it's, it's really not the same. And once we did it, he saw that it felt so much better. The next thing that I really thought about was color. So I realized obviously the first thing that you see when you walk in here is this giant blue wall. And it's funny, cause again, I didn't necessarily think like, oh, I wanna create a calming vibe. I just naturally gravitated toward that color. I think neutrals can also be really soothing. So that's one of the reasons why we went with this couch. I also like that you can incorporate color. I do love a look that's all neutrals, but being able to play with color like through your throw pillows is a way that you can kind of do that. And then if it does become overpowering, you can change them out. Also white sheets in the bed, like hotel vibes. I feel like that is the best way to just feel relaxed. There's just something really special about getting into a bed with white sheets. My next tip is all about bringing nature and natural elements indoors. First and foremost, I love having plants in the house. A lot of people say that they can't take care of plants, but I would just suggest paying attention to your plants. They're living things and they have feelings, I think. They say that if you talk to your plants, it actually helps them grow. So I actually do like to say positive things around a plant and to a plant and to sort of treat it like that. But you know, making sure that when it gets dusty to clean it off and things like that, just really being present with the plant, um, I think really helps to keep it alive. Another little tip is, is I like to take these little clippings from these greens that I buy at the grocery store and just put them in little bud vases throughout my house. They last for so long and they're really inexpensive. Obviously fresh flowers are also great to keep in the house, uh, but even just thinking about the different materials that you're using in your decorative items, so things like this wood tray, woven storage basket that I have underneath my plant, anytime that you can bring in these natural elements, I feel like that does make us as human beings feel more at peace. The next thing that I want you to think about is texture and how that can impact, you know, the coziness of a space. Things like rugs, throw pillows, blankets, floor pillows, all that stuff. It definitely has its use aesthetically, but also think about how things feel. Even when I think about a rug, like obviously that can tie a space together so well aesthetically, but just that feeling of not having to put your feet on like a cold, hard surface and having a nice cozy rug instead just makes it that much more relaxing. Having personal photos around, I was so lazy about this. It took me so long to do it, but I was so happy when I did. Having memories that you can see at any glance of people that you love is definitely something that puts me at peace. And then sort of related to that is the art that we put on our walls. I noticed that a lot of the art, especially in the paintings that I've done, I definitely gravitate towards those blues and greens and those more that softer sort of calming color palette. So you can think about that when you're bringing art into your home. You can also think about getting maybe like a favorite quote printed out. I have the Meiraki word that I really love printed above my stove. 
And then music I think is a big one as well. Now I like to curate certain playlists that are for specifically relaxing at home. So like a lot of jazz and classical music. I before used to only have music that I liked to listen to while I was like on a run, which definitely is not the kind of thing that you want to relax to. We really love having Sonos. Um, we have three different Sonos speakers throughout the home, which I absolutely love because just feeling like you can hear the music walking throughout the house. I really love it. Another thing that I like to do that definitely relaxes me and just makes me feel good is to sort of give my home its own signature scent. I have this room spray that I got in Morocco that I love, so I'll use that or I'll light incense. Copal is my current favorite incense that I've been loving. And then of course we have our other sacred herbs like sage and palo santo. So if you guys wanna learn more about that, I will link that video below. And then sort of related to that, Candles are an obvious choice when it comes to relaxing. And I do love scented candles and I have a bunch of them throughout the house. But lately I've also taken to just getting like white, unscented pillar candles and votive candles and placing them around because I feel like obviously you don't want to have more than one scented candle lit, but when it's nighttime especially and you have a bunch of those white candles lit throughout the house, I just love that vibe. Books also are really relaxing in a way. Obviously we have this big bookshelf with a lot of books on it, but even if you don't have that, I just kind of like the idea of using books sort of as decor placed throughout your house, maybe in like unexpected places. It kind of is just always a reminder that if you wanted to, you could curl up with a book. Lastly, I do really love to designate one screen-free zone in the home. So for us, that's the bedroom, or at least for me. I don't know if Jared follows that rule. I don't think he does. I find that if I'm not on my phone, both in the morning when I first wake up, as well as before I go to sleep, I've been trying not to be on my phone at like eight o'clock or later. It doesn't have to be your bedroom. It could be sort of any nook or corner that you wanna designate for that. I think that's really important to sort of stay grounded. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you have your own favorite ways to get relaxed in your home, share it in the comments and we'll see you next week.